The first book of Moses, called Genesis, chapter 31. And Jacob heard the words of Laban's songs, saying, Jacob has taken away all that was our father's, and of that which was our father's he has gotten all this glory. And Jacob beheld the face of Laban, and behold, it was not toward him as before. And the Lord said unto Jacob, Return unto thy land of thy fathers, and to thy kindred, and I will be with you. And Jacob sent and called Rachel and Leah to the fields unto his flocks, and said unto them, I see that your father's face that is not toward me as before, but the God of my father has been with me. And you know that with all my power I have served your father, and your father has deceived me, and changed my wages ten times, but God suffered him not to hurt me. If he said thus, The speckled shall be thy wages, then all the cattle bear speckled. And if he said this, The ring strake shall be thy hire, then bear all the cattle ring strake. Thus God has taken away the cattle of your father and given them to me. And it came to pass that the time of the cattle conceived, that I lifted up mine eyes and saw in a dream, and behold, the rams which leaped upon the cattle were ring straked, speckled, and gristled. And the angel of God spoke unto me in a dream, saying, Jacob, and I said, Here I am. And he said, Lift up now thine eyes, and see the rams which leap upon the cattle are ring straked, speckled, and gristled, for I have seen all that Laban does to thee. I am the God of Bethel, where thou anointest the pillar, and where thou vowedst a vow unto me. Now arise, get thee out from this land, and return to the land of thy kindred. And Rachel and Leah answered and said to him, Is there not any portion or inheritance for us in our father's house? Are we not counted of him strangers? For he has sold us, and has quite devoured also our money. For all the riches which God has taken from our father, that is ours, and our children's, now then, whatsoever God has said unto thee, do. Then Jacob rose up and set his sons and wives upon camels, and he carried away all his cattle and all his goods which he had gotten, the cattle of his getting which he had got in the Padam Aram, for to go to Isaac his father in the land of Canaan. And Laban went to shear his sheep, and Rachel had stolen the images that were her father's, and Jacob stole away unawares to Laban the Syrian, in that he told him not that he had fled. And he took his brethren with him, and pursued after him seven days' journey, and they overtook him in Mount Gilead. And God came to Laban the Syrian in a dream by night, and said unto him, Take heed that you speak not to Jacob, either good or bad. Then Laban overtook Jacob. Now Jacob had pitched his tent in the mount, and Laban with his brethren pitched in the mount Gilead. And Laban said to Jacob, What hast thou done? Thou hast stolen away unaware to me. He carried away my daughters as captives, taken with the sword. Wherefore did thou flee away? Why did you flee away secretly and steal away from me, and did not tell me that I might have sent thee away with mirth and with songs and tabret and with harp? And has not suffered me to kiss my sons and my daughters? Thou hast done foolishly in so doing. It is in the power of my hand to do you hurt. But the God of your father spoke unto me yesterday, saying, Take thou heed that thou speak not to Jacob, either good or bad. And now, though you would need to be gone, because thou sore longest after thy father's house, yet wherefore have you stolen my gods? And Jacob answered and said to Laban, Because I was afraid, for I said, Suppose thou would take my force, take by force thy daughters from me. With whomsoever you find thy gods, let him not live, before our brethren discern you what is thine with me, and take it to thee. For Jacob knew not what Rachel had stolen. And Laban went into Jacob's tent, and into Leah's tent, and into the two maidservants' tent, but he found them not. Then went he out of Leah's tent, and entered into Rachel's tent. 
Now Rachel had taken the images and put them in the camel's furniture and sat upon them. And Laban searched all the tents, but found them not. And she said to her father, Let it not displease my lord that I cannot rise up before thee, for the custom of women is upon me. And he searched, but found not the images. And Jacob was wroth, and chode with Laban. And Jacob answered and said to Laban, What is my trespass? What is my sin that thou hast so hotly pursued after me? Whereas thou hast searched all my stuff, what have you found of all the household stuff? Set it here before my brethren and thy brethren, that they may judge between us both. This twenty years have I been with thee. Thy ewes, thy she-goats have not cast their young. The rams of the flock have I not eaten. That which was torn of the beasts I brought not unto thee, I bear the loss of it. Of my hand did thou require it, whether stolen by day or stolen by night. Thus I was, and the day of the drought consumed me, and the frost by night, and my sleep departed from my eyes. Thus have I been twenty years in thy house, and served you fourteen years for the two daughters, and six years for the cattle, and thou hast changed my wages ten times. Except the God of my father, the God of Abraham, and the fear of Isaac had been with me, surely thou hast sent me away now empty. God has seen my affliction and the labor of my hands, and rebuked thee yesterday. And Leban answered and said unto Jacob, These daughters are my daughters, and these children are my children, these cattle are my cattle, and all that thou see is mine. And what can I do this day unto thee, my daughters, or unto their children which they have borne? Now therefore come thou, let us make a covenant, and I though, and let it be for a witness between me and you. And Jacob took a stone and set it up for a pillar. And Jacob said unto his brethren, Gather stones. And they took stones and made a heap, and they did eat there upon the heap. And Laban called it Jegar Shadutha, but Jacob called it Galid. And Laban said, This heap is a witness between me and you this day. Therefore was the name of it called Galid. And Mizpath, for he said, The Lord which has the Lord watched between me and you when we were absent one from another. If thou shalt afflict my daughters, or if thou shalt make an other wives besides my daughters, no man is with us. See, God is witness between me and you. And Laban said to Jacob, Behold this heap, and behold this pillar which I have cast between me and you. This heap be witness, and this pillar be witness, that I will not pass over this heap to thee, and thou shalt not pass over this heap and pillar unto me for harm. The God of Abraham and the God of Nahor, the God of the Father, judge between us, and Jacob swore by the fear of his father Isaac. Then Jacob offered sacrifice upon the mount, and called his brethren to eat bread. And they did eat bread, and waited all night in the mountain. And early in the morning Laban rose up and kissed his sons and daughters, blessed them, and Laban departed and returned unto his place. Chapter 32 And Jacob went on his way, and the angels of God met him. And when Jacob saw them, he said, This is God's host. And he called the name of that place Mahanam. And Jacob sent messengers before him to Esau, his brother, unto the land of Seir, the country of Edom. And he commanded them, saying, Thus shall you speak unto my lord, Esau. Thy servant Jacob says this, I have sojourned with Laban and stayed there until now. And I have oxen and asses, flocks, manservants, women servants, and I have sent to tell my lord that I may find grace in your sight. And the messenger returned to Jacob, saying, We came to thy brother Esau, and also he comes to meet thee and four hundred men with him. Then Jacob was greatly afraid and distressed, and he divided the people that was with him, the flocks, herds, camels, into two bands. He said, If Esau come to, with, to the one company and smite it, then the other company which is left shall ex escape. And Jacob said, O God of my father Abraham, and God of my father Isaac, the Lord which said unto me, Return unto thy country, and to thy kindred, and I will deal well with thee. I am not worthy of the least of all the mercies, and of all the truth, 
which thou hast showed unto my servant. For with my staff I passed over the Jordan, and now I am become two bands. Deliver me, I pray you, from the hand of my brother, from the hand of Esau, for I fear him, lest he will come and smite me and the mother with my children. And thou said, I will surely do thee good, and make thy seed in the sand of the sea, which cannot be numbered for multitude. And he lodged there that same night, and took of that which came into his hand a present for Esau, his brother, two hundred she-goats, she -goats, twenty he-goats, two hundred ewes, and twenty rams, thirty milch camels with their colts, forty kine and ten bulls, twenty she-asses and ten fowls. And he delivered them unto the hand of his servants, every drove by themselves, and they said unto his servants, Pass over before me, and put a space between drove and drove. And he commanded the foremost, saying, When Esau my brother meets there, and asks thee, saying, Whose art thou, and whither goes thou, and whose are these before thee? Then shalt thou say, They be thy servant Jacob's. It is a present sent unto my lord Esau, and behold, also he is behind us. And so commanded he that the second and third and all that followed the drove, saying, On this manner shall you speak unto Esau when we find him. And say you moreover, Behold, thy servant Jacob is behind us. For he said, I will appease him with the present of the goes before me, and after I will see his face. Suppose he will accept of me. So went the present over before him and himself lodged that night in the company and he rose up that night and took his two wives and his two woman servants and his eleven sons and passed over the four jabbok and he took them and sent them over the brook and sent over that he had and jacob was left alone and there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of day and when he saw that he prevailed not against him he touched the hollow of his thigh the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint, and he wrestled with him. And he said, Let me go, for the day breaks. And he said, I will not let you go, except thou bless me. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For a prince has thou power with God, and with men has prevailed. And Jacob asked him and said, Tell me, I pray thee, thy name. And he said, Wherefore is it that thou dost ask after my name? And he blessed him there. And Jacob called the name of the place Peniel, for I have seen God face to face, and my life is preserved. And as he passed over Peniel, the sun rose upon him, and he, halt, and he halted upon his thigh. Therefore the children of Israel eat not of the sinew which shrank, which is upon the hollow of the thigh, unto this day, because he touched the hollow of Jacob's thigh and the sinew that shrank. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. I love you with all my heart. I pray blessings. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.